hello everyone in this series we are gonna learn how to create a restful api using sp.net core web api so to create the restful api we are going to use visual studio community edition 2022 sql server and postman for api testing so here's the link if you do not have the Visual Studio Community Edition in your machine you can download from this URL and then install similarly you can use a SQL Server and download the Developer Edition or Express Edition also you can download the Postman then install and then sign up then it is ready to use okay so that's the three tools we are gonna use now let's talk about the project structure that we are going to use our project name is product management okay so in the product management we will create a main um, project okay or we can also say API project right then we can create a folder called data under data we will keep all the data related projects including database right and repositories okay then we should create another folder for services right then we can create all the services here like logging service then product service and so on right then we can also create other product sorry other folders like test folders for testing projects right then we can also create um, another folder for like shared project we can give them a folder name common so this is how we can organize our solution now let's create the solution so this is our visual studio let's create a project um, actually blank solution give the solution name as product management or whatever you like okay and give the location this is my project location then create okay once the solution is created then we can right click on the solution add new project the first project i'm gonna create spnet core web api which is gonna be this one for the rest for web api okay next let's give it a name i can give it a name like api okay the next so make sure you are gonna use .NET 8.0 for now authentication type is null none and use controller then create okay so this is our API project now let's build it building succeeded okay that's good now we can create the our remaining folders one of them is data 
The second one is services, right? Then uh, we can create the common folder. Tests, we can create it now or we can create it later. That is not needed at this moment, right? So this is our um, solution architecture here, okay? If we expand the properties, so there is a like launch settings, right? So it has like three profiles that we can use, HTTP, HTTPS, IAS Express, okay? And if you see, it has like default URL here, for example, for HTTPS profile, right? Weather forecast, because we have a default controller that is like weather forecast controller. So that is the um, launch URL. And here we have like some default port. Let's run the solution and let's see how it looks like. Okay, if you see 7181 is coming from this HTTPS. Okay. And we are getting also response, which is fine. First of all, I want to make it like user friendly, 8000. Okay, maybe this is 8001. Same should be here, HTTP. Now let's see. Oops still it is coming up like the old one because uh, we have to build the solution that once the solution is built then we can run the solution and see that port number has been changed okay that's good so far so good what else so we have launch settings, we have as um, app settings dot JSON, right? Also app settings dot development dot JSON. So, so this is this app setting is based on the um, environment, development environment. If it is running under the development, right? Then that is gonna be like um, the development app setting for example here environment variables we have it is here as a development so once the development is done we will deploy it to production right so at the time um, for the production it's gonna be like the production environment right so then we have to create another um, App setting like it's gonna be app setting file and name is gonna be like app settings dot production dot JSON okay and it, sh it will be under the app settings the JSON so if there is a setting that we need to use for production specific then that will go under the production.json uh, file right so that means we can create environment specific um, properties or settings and we have the program.cs so it is pretty simple here right so builder equal web application dot create builder then adding the services right also other extensions that's pretty much it about the um, project setup please guys if you like this tutorial and learn something from here hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel Thank you.